Welcome to part two on archiving application data using a fully editable and ed, uh, table view. And we've just basically put the code in the application did finish launching method. Now we're going to move in and add a couple of new outlets to our dot h in our app delegate. And what that is going to be is we want to make a hold on here. Let me just make this a little bit more organized. That's how I like to do things. IB outlet. And we want to add an outlet to the table view. And what we're going to name that is, I'm just going to name that. You can name it whatever you want. It's just going to be called main table view. Okay, guys, because that is basically the main table view. And that's that. So then after we do that, we want to add another outlet. And that outlet is going to be the outlet of the navigation bar. So UI navigation, and it's not going to be a bar, it's going to be an item. And I'm going to name this one nav item. And then command B, build that. Open up interface builder again, go to our archive, drag main table view to the table view and nav item to the navigation bar. Now this is the reason why we made an outlet for the navigation bar is to make it so it's editable and it changes to a done button. You'll see. Command S to save that and then hide it. All right. So now what we want to do is go into our dot M and after all of these actions and all that crazy stuff, <laughs> we want to add an NS integer. And this is going to be the number of sections in our table view. And this is fairly simple. NS integer and we want to make it number of sections in table view colon UI table view and that's going to be a star right there and then table view okay and we just want to put in there return one all right that is very simple. Command B, and we're good. So now what we want to do is after that method, we want to make a number of rows in the section. And that is also pretty much the same method. So NS integer number of sections in table view. That one remembered us. <laughs> All right. And then we want to just do press enter there and then we want to put in here return open bracket data and we just want to make that the data count and then close the bracket with a semicolon okay and this is also going to be a fairly simple one as well so after here we want to put the table view cell for row at index path and that is just going to be UI table view cell, which is something different. Star table view colon UI table view. Another star table view. It seems like we're repeating, I know. Cell row at index path colon ns index path space star and then we want to do index path and then in there we're going to put this following method so in here it's just this is going to be a good amount so you want to do ui table ui table um view cell and in here we, I'm just going to name this cell space equals space table view dq re reusable cell with identifier this is all going to come up and I'm just going to name this at and then we're just going to call this cell just for simplicity and then right in here we're going to put if that cell space equals equals space nil 
which if there's nothing in the cell, display this code. And that is going to be cell space equals space, one, two, three, UI table, table, view, cell, unlock that, in it, with style, and this is going to be called, we're just going to make this UI table, view, style, default, and then, oh, UI table, view, cell, style default, reuse identifier, that is just going to be our at cell, which we have already did, and then close that bracket, and then right here after that we want to do auto release, and then we also want to close that bracket, semicolon, enter, and that should be it for that. Then after that we want to do cell dot text label dot text space equals space open bracket data object add index index path dot row oh sorry x code all right sorry about that dot row and then close that semicolon and then we want to return the cell very simple. All right. So we basically just plugged in a bunch of methods here. And now what we're going to do is move on to part three. So this is taking longer than I thought, but that's okay. So guys, press command V to build that. We have one error. Let's see what that is really fast. And so number of sections in table view. Um, that's probably a very small fix. So, number of sections, let me just, oh, I'm very sorry. It's number of rows, so just fix this with me, guys. Number of rows in section, hmm, number of rows in section, and then just get rid of all this. And we want to make an NS integer. And just keep that as section. And now, if we build, we're good. All right, so come to part three, and that's been it. So stay tuned for part three and link in the description.